Yes, guys, come and have a look. Brand new Silver Super Flash 7s. Unreleased, come and have a look. What are you saying? Have a look at these silver boots. Do you like them? What's up guys, Matt from the Football Boots team and today I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of the Japanese foil craze going around right now. A lot of people making these balls from aluminium foil and to be fair, they do look incredible. Kieran Brown has also made himself a football using the Japanese foil technique but today us guys are taking it up a level by trying to create our very own Japanese foil football boots. So can it be done? Let's find out. Guys, let's not kid ourselves. I think we can all agree that this right here looks absolutely terrible. I was hoping the end product was gonna look a lot more like this, but that is not the case whatsoever. I feel like because the upper of the Superfly is so soft and there's no foot inside, it's just way too flimsy. So when I'm putting pressure on top, it's just collapsing and making it look all crunched up. So what we're gonna try this time, Blake is behind the camera. He's gonna come and join me on the bench. We're gonna put the tin foil straight directly around his foot and then we're going to super glue on the Nike sole plate, either the Superfly or the Hypernum, and then add some laces on on top. So that's going to be our second technique of the Japanese fall. So fingers crossed, it's going to look a little bit better. So the high venom sole plate is not sticking to the tin foil at all. So now we're going to try the Superfly 6 sole plate and hopefully, because this is a bit smaller and lighter, it's going to stick a lot better.
guys, we did it. We've got the Superfly sole plate onto our Japanese foil boot. We've also given it a dynamic fit collar. Yes, it is massive, but we had to go extreme. But this time, Blake is now gonna put the laces around the boot to create the lacing system, but also give him a little bit of the responsiveness that the Superflyers are so well known for. Putting the laces around our boot as well is really gonna help the sole plate stay attached to that tin foil because although we put some super glue on it, it's not attached that firm. problem the hill area is coming apart so we've got a third lace this time Blake is wrapping it around so hopefully this is going to make sure that the tinfoil boot stays intact yes guys come and have a look brand new silver super flash sevens unreleased come and have a look what are you saying? Have a look at these silver boots. Do you like them? Yeah. Look at them yeah. silver ones. Yeah. Do you like them? Yeah. Are they? What did you say? Tin foil. Are they or are they the brand new super flyers? No. Are they real or fake? Yeah, you guys know your stuff. So what we've got today, guys, of course, the Japanese foil has gone viral. They've been doing it with a ball, but we've created our very own football boot. But your challenge, is to create a Japanese foil ball using this small one I've got in front. So someone catch that one. You all dropped it. All right, so we've got our tin foil. So what I want you to do is wrap it up. You can all take a piece and wrap that small ball up and see if you can create a better version than our football boot version. So here we go, guys. You've got to wrap it nice and tight. So once you've got it around it a couple of times, give it a nice press down to make it as smooth as you can. Yeah. All right, guys, so you're giving that a little bit of sandpaper. All right, so as we can see, we've got the small football that you guys did. We've also got our first attempt at a Japanese foil boot and then our third version, which is actually on Blakey's foot. So I'm going to ask you to vote for which one you think is the best version. I know, Blake knows, and you guys know, it doesn't look amazing, but we did it quickly. But who thinks that the ball looks the best? Hands up. Who thinks that the boot in his hand looks the best? Yes. And then who thinks that the boot on his foot looks the best? Not a lot. So you guys, you reckon, most of you, think that our first Japanese boot, which is done in hand, looks the best, yeah? yeah. So that's going to be the winner for today.